you know, I just surfing around. I I like to surf around, and you know, I had used the Rex program one time, and and I I, I calculated that the speed of the Earth's rotation, and uh, someone had told me that it was slowing down by two milliseconds, you know, a day. So, or at least that's the way I interpret it. So I wrote a Rex program to calculate when the Earth would stop spinning if it's going on 186,000 miles per second or however long it was going, I forget. Um, then how long would it take for it to simply stop spinning? And by running this Rex program, and the reason I did it, it was a long, long time ago when I was a young guy. You know, I was like probably only 50 back then in 1920. But the calculators didn't go high enough to do that. So I, I used the Rex program instead to do it. And, and when I ran that program, it came back and said the Earth had stopped spinning around the year 5000. Well, that's great. And I believed it for a long time. But then these atheist guys came along and they told me that that wasn't exactly true. That I'd miscalculated it when the Earth would stop spinning because it doesn't actually stop spinning. It doesn't actually lose two milliseconds per day, as far as the speed goes. It's it's two minutes per. It's two milliseconds per solar day per century. Oh, you know that's why I like those guys. They're they're straight men. They keep you straight. So I went back instead of using the Rex program. Well, nowadays, nowadays we've got things like this calculator here. See, just right on your PC. So, you know, I could take this calculator, whoa, you know, and I can get the calculations that I needed. The calculations that I needed basically were the same type of philosophy, only I had to take, uh, you know, two milliseconds or whatever since, since uh, the year 1820, you know, is how much it slowed down by, and, and use that as a calculation. And I came up with the answers, so I'll show you what they are. See, I, I read this page right here, this page I was reading, and it talks all about the effects of the Earth slowing down in its rotation. Which is really odd because you don't have to go all the way down to uh, zero before we're affected. We're affected by minor, minor changes in the slowing of the rotation of the Earth because, the for one, the, the equator it shrinks. I mean, it's more round because there's less centrifugal force on the Earth. Okay, so the Earth is actually getting more round. And it makes mountains, it makes earthquakes, it affects tides. All kinds of weird things when the Earth slows down. So, <clears throat> here I am looking at the Earth over here. I'm saying, you know, that's amazing, you know, how fast it spins, you know. And so I, I'm going to show you the calculations, okay? I'm going to show you the calculations. So I went over here. I went over to this this place here because there's a link on, on this website, you know. Uh, let's see if I can do something. I follow down here. And I go on down, go on down to, uh, to the Earth's rotation, okay? So I, I click on Earth's rotation. And um, what happens is... It sits there and thinks for about an hour and a half. And eventually I get over here and, and here's what I discovered. Okay, 2012, that's where it is, where we are right now approximately. Plus 714,286. In that year, the Earth will not rotate anymore. Which means the night will never end for half of the world. You know, and then, look at this, calculations, 86,400.002 is how many seconds there is in a day on Earth, and one day goes by, there's that many seconds. So if you take the rotational speed, somewhere between 1,100 miles an hour and 1,038 at the equator, okay, and you want to calculate minutes, well, there's 3,600 minutes is equal to an hour, so then you take you know the hour times 24 and you get uh, the number of days equals one day there it is right there 86 400 approximately exactly the same as that almost except we're starting at 1820 i guess so then when you come down and you want to convert seconds to years to centuries there you go three billion 153 million six hundred thousand seconds in the century century and so we, we went all the way down here to, uh, how many is that? Three, six, nine, three billion. Three billion divided by 0 .0014, which would be the milliseconds, equals this number. Round it off. Hey, that's almost our national debt. Two trillion, two hundred and fifty-two billion, five hundred and seventy-one million, four hundred and twenty-eight thousand, five hundred and seventy-one seconds until the Earth stops spinning. Well, the problem with that is we've got to reverse all that because... Nobody's going to ever remember how many seconds it is until the Earth stops spinning. So 
come down here further and you just kind of reverse calculate everything you take all those numbers and you reverse them I'm just rounding them off for purposes of simplicity but in the calculator I did not round them off so you end up with 714,286 years unless the deceleration rate of the earth changes the earth will stop spinning which means if you add on where we're at now approximately 2012 plus that number 714,286 that means that in the year 73,440 AD, the Earth won't rotate, okay? So the atheists were right. Here's an interesting little counter. This counter right here is showing you a countdown to 27 hour days. The reason that's in there is because this counter will not go up as high as it needs to go in order to calculate the year it stops. <clears throat> so 73,44 is approximately 10% of 73,000. So therefore, 10% of uh, 24 is 2.4, so you add 2.4 to 24, you get 25, 26 and a half, you round it off 27 hours in a day. <clears throat> so in the year 5,333, well, 5,333 years from now, we'll have 27 hour days instead of 24 hour days. That's good if it's a weekend, right? But if it's work week, it just means you're going to work longer. Not only that, the earth is not going to be the same, man. If the Earth slows down by 10% of its current rotation, who knows what this Earth is going to look like. So yeah, I do believe that there is uh, changes in weather going on. But they're not related to mankind, man. It doesn't matter whether or not I drive an SUV, okay? The Earth is slowing down. And the only way I can speed it up is if, if this was the actual rotation, I suppose I could mount like rockets and point them all in this direction and fire them off and, you know, help just speed the Earth up. Hey! They actually use atomic clocks and things like that to, to, to look at the rotation of the Earth and they use that to calculate stars and where they are and their navigation systems and how far they have to go to send a satellite into space. You think if we're going to go a million light years out in space, we're not going to accommodate for the, the speed of the Earth and how fast it's going when you take off? Believe me, you go research it, you'll find out. That stuff is fact, man. The only thing I wanted to learn was when. i like to know when, you know, wouldn't you? Well, thanks for listening.